What's going on everyone? It's the Print House. Hopefully after this video, you're going to be able to start getting your very first print on your Anchor Make. So without further ado, we need to start at the very first point. Guys, we need to level the bed. Now, there's multiple things that go in uh, the process of bed leveling, but I'm first going to point the camera at this old Creality Ender 3 V2 in order to explain some stuff to you. This way we can move back over to the anchor make. Hopefully I can keep this video under 10 minutes. Uh, it's, uh, there's a lot of information to cover. So unfortunately, these beds, they're not perfectly flat. I know the human eye makes you think they're flat, but unfortunately they're not flat. And these might be warped in different locations. So you might have a high spot over here and a low spot over here. And generally speaking, on these printers, you have what you consider or what you call bed screws. These bed screws tighten a spring on the bed which literally mechanically pull the printer into a flatter location or into a flatter orientation. So you are mechanically pulling the print bed flat. If it's like this, you're mechanically pulling the edges flat. Now uh, the anchor make if you tell, does not have said bed screws. The anchor make bed is level as best as it can from factory, and it cannot become any flatter. That being said, there's still going to be uh, there's still going to be issues from uh, from a factory, right? Like this piece of aluminum can only be so flat. So there's still gonna be error that has to be uh, calculated out. And so the way the anchor uh, accounts for that error is called a bed mesh. So what the bed mesh does is it takes the nozzle and it probes the bed in 49 different locations along the bed. What it's doing is it's saying at this spot, the nozzle is five millimeters from the bed. At this spot, it's 5.2 millimeters from the bed. 5.3, 5.4, and I'm over exaggerating this. Normally it's going to be 0 0.1, 0 0.11, 0 0.2, 0. You get the idea. But the reason we're doing this is so the Anchor Make software can account for these errors within the software. So, guys, this is a very, very important process. Thankfully, on the Anchor Make, this has been made very, very easy. What you're going to do is you're going to go to the control tab, you're going to click auto level, and you're going to click start auto level. Guys, that's going to take about 10 minutes. I'm not going to do it now. All right, guys. So after you have auto leveled your bed, go back to the control menu, go to the move menu, and click the home button. This is going to home the printer. This way, the nozzle knows where it is in relation to the bed. It, this way, the printer knows where the bed is in relation to the nozzle. Homing the printer lets all of the mechanical parts know exactly where they are. And so after you've homed the printer, you might recognize that the nozzle is very, very close to the print bed. And I actually cheated a little bit. Uh, I homed the nozzle and then, uh, or I homed the printer and then I actually used this Z button then I moved it down a little bit. But guys, what I'm trying to tell you with this is Right now, the nozzle was at position zero. Position zero means that it is touching the bed. There is literally no position between the bed and the nozzle. And if you try to print like this, what's gonna happen is you're going to extrude some filament, uh, but there's gonna be no way for it to get out. So it's just gonna get stuck and it's gonna get clogged. Think uh, if you had a water bottle and you screwed the lid on and you squished it, right? The water is going to have nowhere to go because the lid is on the bottle, so it's not going to go anywhere. But the second you take the lid off, if you're still squishing the bottle, the water is just going to go everywhere. It's going to explode everywhere. So, guys, you need to have a very tiny gap between the nozzle and the print bed. Now, the way we're going to do that is we're going to go back over here. We're going to go to Z offset. Guys, I'm gonna start my Z offset at, uh, I started mine off at 0.35, and then I moved it down, 
What I want you guys to do is the exact same. Start yours at 0 0.35. So 0 0.35. All right, everyone. So what you're seeing here is a block that I have developed and I've kind of coined it as the test level. I use this for every single one of my printers, whether it's a Creality printer, a Prusa, a WizMaker, doesn't matter, an Elgoo. Uh, and so I've modified it as well to work on the Anchor Make. And I'm going to save this file. I'm going to have it in the description below for you to use as well. So go ahead and download that file and open it up. But the, uh, the gist of this file is that it is uh, straight wall, uh, infill. It's just a solid block. And what we're trying to do here is we're going to watch this thing print live. We're going to watch it print. And what we want to see is a very buttery smooth first layer go down. This is how we know our Z offset is perfect. Uh, the first thing you're going to see is the printer is going to draw a line on the back side. That is called the purge line. That line is intended to get all the gunk and the crap out of the nozzle so that you're not ruining uh, your print surface. Now this is gonna be kind of difficult to see because this is black PLA, but what we're looking for is for the actual print to be buttery smooth. And this is gonna be, uh, you know, this is kind of due to the Z offset that we set at 0.35. So it's going to be difficult to see at first, but as it slowly starts to come out, what we're going to see is our print and how smooth it looks. So of course this is very difficult for you guys to see because it's black on black, but for me, guys, what it looks like is the printer is just a little bit too high. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to tap this, and we're just going to go ahead and lower it. I know that mine needs to be at 0.2, so I'm going to lower it to 0.25, and you'll see the difference in quality very quickly as it comes out. And I'm going to manually stop this right about now because I want to be able to pull this off and show you what we're working with. So, of course, can see where it was at 0.35 it was really rough and then there's a clear line right here where it went to uh, 0.25 and again there's a clear line here where it went to 0.2 now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna print this again and uh, I'm going to lower it even more to try and get a better print So guys, this is how you know your Z offset is tuned correctly. When I lift it up and it is one solid piece of plastic. Alright guys, and one final thing, you're going to need that file that I just printed. So I have this testlevel.a code on a printables link in the description below. Go ahead and download that file and then drag it in to Anchor Make Software. Give it a second, it's going to load in. And just to make sure everything looks correct, drag this all the way down and click the play button. Make sure it looks just like this. If it looks just like this, you're good to go. You can now go and set up your Z offset. Guys, I know how daunting it is to get your bed leveled and to get the correct Z offset. So I really hope I was able to make this video as clear and concise as possible. Guys, if it was helpful, please drop a like and a subscribe. It really helps. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.